Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this dish known as Kung Pao Ji or Kung Pao Chicken. Ingredients are pretty simple. I have with me over here one whole chicken. This is a spring chicken, approximately about 700 grams. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce. One tablespoon inside which I will use to marinate the chicken with. One tablespoon of light soya sauce for marinating the chicken. 2 teaspoons of corn flour, or you can use tapioca flour if you want to and pepper, this is for marinating the chicken later I'll show you the rest of the ingredients for making the kung pao sauce let's marinate the chicken now 1 tablespoon of the oyster sauce goes in soy sauce the flour and a generous dash of pepper mix them up well you'll need to marinate this for approximately about 20 minutes before we go and deep fry them to approximately about 70% done these are the ingredients for making the Kung Pao sauce. I have with me over here one stalk of spring onion, two onion which I've quartered up, three cloves of garlic chopped, three pieces of chili padi, chop up also, 20 pieces of dried chili which I've soaked and cut into half, four slices of young ginger, two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn, one tablespoon of dark soya sauce, one tablespoon of Hua Piao Jiu or Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. This is actually three tablespoons, but I took one tablespoon out to marinate the chicken, so it's two tablespoons of oyster sauce here and two tablespoons of vinegar, black vinegar, plus one cup of water for mixing the sauces together. Let's just mix the sauces together first. In goes the one cup of water, oyster sauce, and of course the dark soy sauce. Mix them well and set them aside. Now when your oil is hot, put in the chicken piece, piece by piece. We're going to deep fry them a little bit. So everything will go in. Try not to stir them initially. Now how do you know it's approximately about 70% done or, or whatever? It's just a little bit brownish. You will see that the color of the skin has really changed to slightly more yellowish than before. So that's when you know that it's, it's almost done. But do not have to worry because later we are going to simmer this in the Kung Pao sauce. Now deep frying what it actually does is actually seal in the juices of the chicken. That's the reason I'm doing deep frying right now. But if you don't want to deep fry this, you just want it to be healthy and cook it in the sauce, you can do that too. Now do not reduce the heat. The oil must be hot always. Now all depends on the, your stove also. For my I turn to the highest that I have. It's time to take out the chicken as you can see some of the this is already browned up by the side already. It's not totally cooked yet, but it's about approximately, my estimate is about 70% cooked now. So it's time to take out the chicken. Now in your pan, leave approximately about one or two tablespoons of oil. Put the ginger in. Fry them until they are fragrant. Next, you have to put in the dried chili. The garlic and the chili powder. The citron peppercorn and the onions. Fry them for a few minutes until you can smell the chili, the garlic, and the ginger. Look at the beautiful color. So once the, the aroma is out, put in the chicken. Give them a good sauce. Then we add in the water mixture that we had that we mixed just now. Put in the white part of the spring onion first, the sugar, and stir them. Put the lid on and simmer it for about approximately 10 minutes. Now this has been cooking for 10 minutes already. Let's just open it up. The chicken are cooked. Let's just have a taste first. Brilliant. I think I can put in another half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Now if you want your chicken darker, you can put in more soya sauce or dark soya sauce. This is all to your preference. I'm adding another tablespoon. Now in goes the vinegar, the sesame seed oil, as well as the hua tiao wine or Chinese cooking wine. The green part of the spring onion, Give it a stir and it's time to dish out this beautiful dish. 
And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we make our Kung Pao chicken or Kung Pao ji. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.